In this episode, we're going to be talking about trading options with Robinhood. Stay tuned. Welcome back to The Jeremy Kirsten Show, where every episode we talk about business, entrepreneurship, investing, and personal growth. And today we're going to be talking about how to trade options using the app Robinhood. The reason why I wanted to make this video is because I saw that the trend, in my opinion anyways, is that a lot of people are talking about trading options as opposed to just trading stocks. And I think that some of this trend is because it's relatively pretty easy to do with Robinhood and Robinhood itself as a investment trading app um, has taken a lot of uh, popularity and growth and everything lately and so with that uh, you know comes the, the you know that option of trading options and I think people kind of are interested in that and want to learn more on how to do it now with that being said I am by no means an expert at trading options you should not take advice from me or anyone else on YouTube for that matter. Do your own research and know that investing is extremely risky, especially trading options is extremely risky. And I'll show you why and how uh, all that works here in just a moment. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so here we are on Robinhood.com. Now you can do now you can go to Robinhood through your app if on your phone if you want. Um, that's what I'm actually looking at Robinhood through most of the time, but for the purpose of this particular little training video, I thought it might be easier to use the um, website, and I'll show you why here in just a second. So um, here I, I pulled up Tesla just as an example. As you can see, it's actively trading right now at 541, which is pretty absolutely crazy uh, to begin with because over the past three months, Tesla will not stop going up now okay uh, options that's why we're here right so if you're already into Robin Hood um, you might have seen right up in the corner where you can do your orders let's see here uh, it's a little bit different on the app so excuse me sorry but you, you'll find it don't worry um, I'll even kind of maybe put up a video on a spot that kind of shows you where to you know do it on the app but for the sake of this, we're gonna to go to trade options, okay? Now, <clears throat> options is very, very risky in the sense that it is very much like a bet, okay? And a bet that you can lose everything. I know a lot of people say that investing in stocks in the um, on the stock market is, is gambling in the stock market, but you know what? Honestly, options is a whole lot more, uh, in my opinion, much more like you know uh, betting and gambling than just buying stocks and the reason why is because when you lose on an option call you lose everything it's not like if a stock goes down 50 percent that oh darn you lost 50 percent of your money it's no you probably lost it all if you were betting that it was going to go up if you were betting that it was going to go down um then again and it goes up you're gonna lose everything, not just a little bit, okay? So that's kind of the big key difference in uh, stocks and, and options is that when you lose, you lose it all, unless you sell early. That's a whole nother thing, but we'll, we'll get there in a sec. And then if you win, you can win a whole lot more money. And I say win because it's so much like a bet and a gamble, right? It's it's not, it's, I'm, I'm, you know, notice I'm not saying gain, right? Because well, I mean, you would be gaining, obviously, if you're, you know, winning your bet here. But, um, you know, so, but anyways, you, you you gain a whole lot more, and that's because you're basically leveraging. Um, so let me kind of give you an example. This is Tesla. Um, a call is if you think it's going to go up. A put is if you think the stock price will go down. Okay. So right now, the share price is 541 in some change it's kind of bouncing around right now but let's just say for example all right tesla's been running up like crazy and you think gosh this party has got to come to an end it's surely got to come back down right it's going to come back down well you can make that bet based off of a couple different expiring dates you've got short term 
uh, bets. So this one would expire on the 17th, this particular contract. And today is the 14th. So this is a very, very short term bet. Now the thing about short term bets is that they're gonna cost less to take that bet than say a long term bet, you know, even next week, two weeks, next month, couple months, all the way down to next year, even two years away, you can make bets. But those, those bets, those options, are gonna be a whole lot more expensive due to the fact that because you have so much time for your uh, results to change and you have more time to be right, you have more time for things to go your way, okay? So because you have all that time, you're paying for that time and your options are gonna be whole, a whole lot more expensive. So let me just kind of show you what I'm talking about. Like I said, right now we're at 540. All right, so for Tesla right now, we're gonna be doing a put for an example. Put, like I said, is when we think the price is gonna go down. Right now, the price currently is at 540. And let's just say that we think it's gonna come back to, I don't know, maybe 450. Do you think the price could come back down to 450? Let's look and see here. So at 450, one contract costs says 24 cents for the price but when you actually buy one contract because it's times 100 it will give you uh, the price of $24 so this is what it costs $24 to make the bet that in three days Tesla will come to 450 now the reason why that bet is so cheap again is because you have very short time for your um, you know your bet to actually happen and then also that's like pretty unrealistic almost, right? For it to drop that much to come to 450 in the next three days, it would have to fall pretty darn hard. But let's just go with it for a second so I can kind of show you how this works. One contract, 24 bucks. And then you're wondering, all right, so how much money could I make out of this? Well, you, you wanna to come to optionsprofitcalculator.com and that's kind of my issue with um, Robinhood right now is they don't really have a good profit calculator, but optionsprofitcalculator.com. And then from here, we are doing a long put because we're you know, betting that the price would come down. We're gonna put in TSLA, which is Tesla's uh, stock ticker uh, you know, symbol. And then it says the price is 536, okay. You want to select the option on the 17th that the put and that the price would come down to we said 450 right yeah so 450 all right 28 bucks 23 bucks it's kind of changing by the, the minute um I'm gonna, yeah if, if i probably refresh this it'd be a little bit better but anyways we agree to the terms and watch this okay so Here's the next three days. This is today, uh, tomorrow, right? And then the next day, and then the day that the contract expires and the day after that. So this will kind of show you exactly how this works. Right now, like I said, the price is currently 542. So in the next few days, if your, I mean, if this, if this stock, if Tesla's price went down You know, I kind of forgot to mention something, but in the next few days, if the price went down to, let's just say even 500, that'd be a 618% return on your money, and you would make $173 all by spending for, you know, just for spending 28 bucks. Because totals worth 201, the contract that you just bought is worth 201. Entry price was 28 bucks. To purchase that contract, your profit is $173. If you hover over this, it'll show you the same stuff um, just right here in this little section right there. So that's, that's nice. Um, but the thing about the contracts is, like I said, if it 
if, if you go or the longer you go into the days, the less chance you have of being correct on your bet. That's why the contract starts losing its value. The biggest difference between trading stocks and trading options is that you're not actually buying the physical stock itself. That's why your value is not necessarily tied to the up or the down on it. You're purchasing a contract that says if the price gets above or below, then you can sell above or below, make up that difference times 100. That's where the value of this contract comes on. I mean, uh, that, that's where the value of this contract comes into place. And if, it's, if it meets the expiration date and you're not above or below whatever you said it was gonna be, then that contract to sell um, or purchase the stock at a particular price is completely worthless. That's why these contracts go down in value um, you know, so, so fast. I hope that kind of makes sense. I don't, I don't, I'm not totally sure if I'm explaining it the best way. If you have some questions, let me know down in the comments below. But again, this is you're purchasing the option to buy or sell a stock at a particular price, the strike price. So if you're way below it and you know, you said you were going to be below it, then great. You can, you have the option. That's why they call them options to sell or to, I'm sorry, to purchase, is that right? You have to sell to purchase. Yeah, you have the per you, you have the option to purchase the stock at a lower price. So that contract's now worth money. So basically you're trading the value of the stocks, of, of the contracts. So what can happen is sometimes you get a contract and uh, instantly you can start making and I say instantly, like within the trading day, you can make 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. I've made 100% in a single day on a contract. And then if that ever happens, my recommendation is to go ahead and sell because you're already way in the green. You're, you know, if, if, if you're already at 20% on your investment in a single day or two, um, you know, I'd say go probably go ahead and sell. Take your, take your winnings and, and go. Um, because the, the more you go into it, I don't know. I mean, unless you just really, really, really believe that it's going to keep on going, but man, that's the thing. That's why I stopped doing this. It was working for me. My very first or second contract I bought with some Tesla, it had dipped down like 7% one day. And I just knew the next few days it was going to come back up. This was when it was still in the, uh, in three hundreds or something. And I happened to be right. And I made like $700 with a $90 bet in a matter of two days. And I thought, oh my God, I'm gonna be rich if I keep this up. Um, but then over the course of the next month, I was wrong on a couple bets and eventually I lost all that 700. So um, I don't know, you know, it's up to you if you wanna do this and make these bets and try to make some money. But you know, for me, not, I'm gonna put my money somewhere else instead of just gambling it. If you want some resources where you can get some pretty good resources on trading and stuff like that, I think Reddit is pretty good. Um, let's see, if you go to Reddit, this little subreddit right here, Wall Street Bets. Another good place here on Reddit is just the subreddit called Options. Again, you can kind of learn some pretty good stuff here. But yeah, I mean, Trading options literally is gambling. It's extremely risky. Um, let me kind of show you again. I, I, I want to show you some better examples of like maybe longer term bets because it's kind of easier to show how it works. So I guess we'll stick with Tesla. Uh, no, let's do something else. Let's go. Da, da, da. Let's take ACB, which is an Aurora Cannabis. Over the past year, this company has gone down from as high as almost $10 a share down to $178. It has dropped a lot. So you might think, okay, cool. Well, maybe now would be a good time to invest. But see, here's the difference. This is what I love and you know about options and what's also kind of extremely risky about it. So if it went up, you know, 50%, <clears throat> it would get into the range of, I don't know, whatever, five or six bucks, right? Actually, no, what am I talking about? 50% would only have to get up to, 
you know, the tube or something like that. So you could essentially make your money um, you know, five times your money, six times your money, almost 10 times your money if it went back up to this much or around five times this much or two or three around, you know, two or three bucks because it's 178, which sounds nice, but let me show you what you can do with options, trade ACB options. Let's say that we thought Aurora was going to go back up to, I don't know, five bucks. Is that pretty fair? I think five bucks is pretty fair. And when do we think he could do that? In the next six months, maybe? I don't know. So June 19, we'll take a June 19 uh, call and we say that it can go up to five bucks. And that bet is six cents right now. Watch this, okay. So at six, at six cents, this would cost you 60 bucks, okay? And we're gonna go back over to our long calculator. We're gonna put in ACB, boom, 178. Select the option. We said we want the um, June 19th, right? That's what we said. Mm-hmm, okay. Um, the June 19th bet, and we're gonna say it's gonna get to $5. Six cents, seven cents, S, whatever. God dang it. If, if it's a little wrong, you can change it just to figure it out. Total cost, six bucks. That's what one of these would do, okay? Six bucks. So maybe we should kind of up the ante a little bit. Um, I'm thinking, let's see. I don't use this version of this too much. How do you make multiple? multiple bets here continue ah 100 oh, no, 10 let's say you did 10 contracts okay 100 shares each and they're six cents 60 bucks that's what it costs you okay so you went in here you did 10 60 bucks boom okay now this is a good example of exactly how options work. Today being the 14th, uh, which is not even shown on here. And then you've got basically that time period when this option expires. Now, right now, we're in the one something, 175, right? Right in this little range. If by like next week, basically the 22nd, January 22nd, if this price um, I mean, if the stock went up to $2, that'd be a 50% return on your money. You would make 30 bucks. That's what that says. And it's shown right here. And this is if you sold it. This is if you sold it that day. Okay, the, you, would, you would earn $30 because that contract that you bought now for 60 um, is worth 90, okay? <clears throat> so, you, you, you made $30 on there. Now let's say in, I don't know, just a month or two, so that'd be around March. Let's say we got like halfway correct and we got up to like 350. That'd be a 500% return on the money, okay? And we would make $300 profit, all for spending 60 bucks. And I wanna, I wanna kind of explain some of this right now. So. In options, it works by a bunch of, well, for lack of be better term, algorithms, okay? And there's names for these different um, criteria. They're, they're, they're called Greeks. They have symbols and names. The, the main one that kind of is talked about the most is called theta. And basically, that has to do with time, okay? And again, sorry if some of you are professionals and you're just like, your, your mind, you're, you're getting pissed off because I'm, I'm wrong with all this terminology and stuff, but, um, or explaining this in a really bad way, but I think it's kind of the easiest way to explain it. The more you get, the closer you get to the expiration date of the contract and you haven't really been right, the more this thing says, well, dude, you're almost there. You're almost to the end of your, your, your time period 
and you the price hasn't moved much so you're probably going to be wrong right and the thing about it is like i said even if you're just a couple dollars underneath your goal on the day of expiration if you haven't hit that then the contract is worthless so if you look like early on if, if if things if things happen for you a little bit early on like success happens early on in a, a, a gamble like this then you're rewarded much more handsomely because basically you have all that time to kind of i guess more or less stay correct in your bet if that makes sense and then as time goes on you have less and less chance of being correct in the actual bet that you made which was a five dollar strike price and so if you're early on if i mean if if, if, if you're correct <clears throat> if you're correct early on in your bet if you will uh that's why some people say just go ahead and take the money and run so kind of like i said for example if it was to go up even halfway maybe four dollars even by april you know you're looking at a 683% return on your money, and that's a $410 profit, profit after spending 60 bucks. So, you know, there's a lot of money to be made, but as you can see in this area, if you're wrong, you lose it. So you can get out of some of these bets a little early and, and uh, you know, maybe not lose all your money, but the longer you wait, the way bigger risk you are at, at, at um, being right and therefore you're much more likely to lose all of your investment because you know that's just it again there's no value in a contract that's you know buying something at, at a price that doesn't make sense so i hope this makes sense guys please let me know down in the comments below if this helped you at all um, if you still kind of want some help, let me know and, um, you know, by saying, Hey, I need further explanation. Let me know if I need to make another video on this or something like that. The same way works against, you know, um, going the opposite way. So like I said, we just did a, a put call. Um, if we think that, yeah, see, we, <laughs> we were just doing all that stuff on the wrong calculator, but it really doesn't change anything because those tables and all those numbers are still the same. But anyways, that's it guys. Um, I hope you liked the video. If you want more content like this, let me know. Be sure to subscribe, hit that notification bell so you'll be notified each time we upload a new episode. Be sure to share this with one friend who you think would enjoy it. Let me know what you thought in the comments down below. And until next time, take care.